To fully understand what man co loans are, let's look at a typical private equity fund that is formed by a limited partnership agreement between the limited partners, the LPs or the investors, and the general partner, the GP or the private equity firm. Now, the private equity fund will buy companies on the investor's behalf. Well, in buyout funds, it is common that the private equity fund will borrow money at the individual portfolio company level. In other words, when a private equity fund buys a company, it usually obtains a direct loan that is backed by the cash flow or assets of the individual company. Now for NAV loans, instead of borrowing against one portfolio company, the private equity fund will borrow against the NAV or net asset value of the group of portfolio companies. In other words, the private equity fund is borrowing against a diverse set of companies instead of one specific company. Okay, so Manco loans, also known as GP financing, are loans that are borrowed against the general partner's fee streams, such as borrowing against future management fees and performance fees from the private equity fund, as well as borrowing against any commitments that the general partner has to the private equity fund or equity returns from those commitments. So, Manco loans are loans against the GP's fee streams and commitments. Let's summarize three ways that a private equity firm can borrow money. Number one, direct loans. This is when the private equity firm borrows at the individual company level. In other words, the collateral it uses to borrow the money are the cash flow and assets from the individual company. Number two, NAV loans or net asset value loans. This is when the private equity firm borrows at the portfolio level. In other words, the collateral it uses to borrow the money is the NAV or net asset value of the group of companies in the portfolio. And number three, Manco loans or management company loans or GP financing. This is when the private equity firm borrows against the fee streams and commitments of the general partners. In other words, the collateral it uses is the GP's fee streams and GP's commitments or equity returns from those commitments. Okay, wait, there's another way that private equity firms can borrow money. It's using the collateral of the limited partners commitments. We talked about this financing in multiple videos. Do you remember what it's called when a private equity firm borrows against the limited partner's commitments? That's right. The private equity firms use subscription lines of credit, which can also be referred to as commitment lines of credit or just subscription lines or commitment lines. We didn't go through subscription lines of credit in this video, but if you're interested in learning more, please check out our video titled subscription lines of credit. Now, here's a final thought. There are so many ways that private equity firms can borrow money. Just to name a few, there are direct loans, NAV loans, Manco loans, and subscription lines of credit. Private equity firms don't have to disclose all the loans they're taking on. And if they do disclose certain loans, they don't always have to disclose the interest rates they are paying. So what do you do as an investor? Well, what do you think? Make sure to ask about the loans when you're conducting due diligence. Investors, private equity funds are private by definition. If you're going to invest in private equity funds, make sure you know what questions to ask and what are the most important things to look for when investing in a private equity fund. A good place to start is our video titled, Seven Things to Look For When Investing in a Private Equity Fund. So check out that video to learn more.